Um, hi everybody. Um, today I thought I would talk about the difference between a full chisel chainsaw chain and a semi chisel chainsaw chain. You'll you will hear um, these things discussed, and you're probably wondering what are the differences. When should I use one as opposed to the other? So we're going to talk through the differences today, and I'm also going to. Um, I'm also going to um, tell you when you should be using a semi chisel and when you should be using a full chisel. What I'm basically going to say is that for most people, you're going to be using a semi chisel chain. Okay, so it has taken forever to get this video set up because I'm trying to focus in on um, a couple of chainsaw chains which are very small and they're very reflective. So if you're getting dazzled by the light every now and again, I do apologize. Okay, so here I've got two chains. On the left is a semi chisel and on the right is a full chisel. Now um, they look at first glance pretty much the same and in every respect they are. However, let's find something to point with. When you have a look at the, the shape of the actual cutting tooth, you will see the one on the right, the full chisel, has the profile of a letter so you're number seven and you see this very sharp point here a cutting point compare that to a semi chisel which has the profile of a question mark it's got a much more rounded profile now these are the if you like the the back end of the um, of the actual um, cutting teeth if i rotate these let's see let's angle down a little There we go. You can actually see the, um, the you can actually see the two different um, cutting profiles. You'll see that the um, the full chisel has a much more aggressive cut point, much more aggressive than the semi chisel. The full chisel, basically, that is where the cut starts. With the semi chisel, the cut start point is much more spread out over the over the course of the tooth. This is going to be a very boring video to look at because there's not a great deal to look at. But let's um, let's talk about the advantages of a, a semi chisel. So this one on the left, the semi chisel. Because it has a, a larger cutting area to begin to cut with, you'll find that it stays sharp longer. Well, it doesn't stay sharp longer. What happens is it will cut longer. Um, as it gets progressively blunter than a full chisel chain will. Um, of course, they're made from exactly the same metal, so they're going to blunt at exactly the same rate, but the shape of the cutting tooth means that this will continue to cut longer than this will continue to cut. Once that point is gone, this thing blunts very easily. There's no point on the semi chisel chain to actually get blunt, so it will go longer for the same level of sharpness. The semi chisel chain has less kickback because it doesn't have this very aggressive bite point. The semi chisel chain is also much easier to sharpen. Um, you can actually sharpen this one up very quickly, very roughly, and it'll begin to cut again. With the full chisel chain, the one on the right, you'll find that you need to keep sharpening until you get that point back. And until that point is back, this chain will not begin to cut properly. The semi chisel chain, um, you'll find that because of the fact that um, it doesn't rely on a sharp point and it will cut longer when it is blunt, you'll find that it it actually uh, puts a lot less stress on your saw. Um, it does cut a little bit slower than the actual full chisel chain, but hey, okay. Speed with chainsaws, I tend to think that's a bad thing. The quicker things move in forestry, the quicker you tend to find yourself in um, in trouble. If I sound strange today, I've got a, I've, I'm full of cold. Don't worry, it's not COVID. It is a cold. I've done a test, and I'm feeling a bit. Um, I'm just feeling a bit under the weather. The full chisel chain, on the other hand, is designed for a fast and aggressive cut. Um, it is an aggressive chain. Um, when would I use one 
over the other. Well, when you consider the disadvantages of a semi-chisel chain, the minute that point gets blunt, that chain is no good and you need to take it off and sharpen it. So it does not cut as long as the semi-chisel. It blunts much more easily. So if you hit any metal, if you hit any dirt, then you're going to find that this will stop cutting a lot sooner than your semi-chisel chain. It has a high kickback risk. So if you're a home user, then by all means use one of the specialist low kickback chains from Steel or Husqvarna or Oregon. But professional users, okay, I can manage kickback. I tend not to get into a situation where kickback gets me, so I won't use a low kickback chain um, because um, the, A, the more expensive, and B, I can manage the kickback risk better than, a, than an average user, if you like. I don't mean to be rude there. That's just the way. That's just the way things are. I've got thousands of hours on chainsaws, and um, and I know how to avoid it. Um, this very aggressive point makes the the full chisel chain much more prone to kick back. The minute that digs in and stops, that saw is going to go on you. Um, this also takes a lot more sharpening in terms of time. You'll you'll find that you're sharpening this a lot more often. If you're not good at sharpening a chainsaw chain then this is going to be a problem for you and a lot of home users are not that good at sharpening a chainsaw chain again i don't mean to be rude but that that's just the way that it is when you go off and do your chainsaw training you are taught properly how to sharpen a chain by hand this um this full chisel chain as well requires a powerful saw to get the most out of it i use it on a 441 it's still 441 that's probably the the minimum power that you can get away with using a full chisel chain. If you actually remove alternate teeth and you make yourself a skip chain out of this, it turns into a beast of a chain. Um, but again, that's for huge stuff in forestry. Okay, so you've looked at the, so the features of one, one versus the other. Now, it seems obvious that you would always use a full chisel chain i mean the thing the thing cuts a lot quicker why wouldn't you use a full chisel chain all of the time well for the disadvantages that i've listed um if you're a professional user it still is a huge pain in the backside to have to stop and sharpen this thing all of the time um there are very few situations where i would actually use a full chisel chain in preference to a semi chisel chain if I'm doing domestic jobs, then I will use a semi-chisel chain every time, even when I'm using, uh, even when I'm working on large trees, because semi-chisel chains deal with dirt, gunk, foreign objects, nails, barbed wire, a lot better than full chisel chains. They'll take a lot of abuse before they stop cutting. You don't need to sharpen them half as much. Um, and when you do sharpen them, they're much easier to sharpen properly than a full chisel chain. And if it's four o'clock in the afternoon and it's the middle of February, you're losing daylight, you have to get the job finished, you're tired, the saw's resting on your knees and you're sharpening one-handed, then really you need to be dealing with a semi-chisel chain. It's a much better situation to be in. I will only use a full chisel chain when effectively I'm doing forestry work. When I'm working in the forest, I guarantee that the wood is clean. Um... I can guarantee that I'm not going to find any nails, I'm not going to find any um, foreign bodies, I'm not going to find any, you find bullets and you find shotgun, you find shotgun um, pellets in trees um, when you're working in forestry, but by and large, that's, that's, a rare, that's a rare thing to come across. Having said that, even when I'm working in the forest, I will, when I'm working close to the ground or I'm cutting up material that's on the ground, I'll switch across to a semi-chisel chain because the minute you start hitting the ground the minute you start hitting dirt then that chain is going to blunt so really if i'm felling from scratch if i'm bucking trees if i'm cutting them to length if i'm delimbing then i'll work with a full chisel chain but the minute it starts getting up close personal and dirty then i'll switch across to a semi chisel so what i'll often do is um, i'll get my trees down on the ground i'll get the limbs off them i'll get them cut to length and then i'll 
switch across the semi chisel chain and at that point that's when I start cutting them into smaller pieces because by then they're on the ground. Okay so which of these should you use? If you're a homeowner, if you have an off-the-shelf low or moderately powered saw, which is all you need for most home jobs, you don't need to be running big 40, 50 cc, 60 cc chainsaws, um, then stick with a semi chisel chain they're much more forgiving they're much easier to sharpen they cut slower but they're not going to kick back on you the way that a full chisel chain will um, and you'll find that your chain will last a lot longer um, you can get away with using a much lower power saw than you would need to with a full chisel chain and they're much more forgiving in use so there you go that's the that's the difference if you hang around a bit i'll put a bit of a, um, a summary at the end of the video of what i've talked about not much going on in this video visually things are quite boring okay i apologize for that um it's mainly been me talking but this has been much more of a um an instructional video than a how-to video or a me running around in the woods with all my kit on video um but well well done for sticking with it remember for your average user semi chisel every time please remember to like and subscribe thank you have a great day